have five senses. Sight, hearing, taste, touch and smell. They all help us to get information from the environment. And only the ability to speak is used for showing our inner world to people. Okay, only to those people who are ready to listen. People's intention to express themselves is so big and powerful that they hardly ever stop talking, no matter if they have something smart to say or not. Almost everybody finds it difficult to keep silence. Pause is awkward when it happens in a conversation. When you are not speaking, you are alone and nobody can help you to fight with yourself. I have attended a yoga seminar this month and among all other different practices, we kept Mauna. Monks of many different religious traditions have often used vows of silence to strengthen their connection to God or to the Source. All you have to do is just to try to avoid any conversation unless when needed. A very simple exercise, but gives you many benefits. First of all, silence gives rest. Much energy is wasted in pointless talking and gossiping. Even while listening, we are busy thinking about our response. We are constantly brainstorm inside in order to create a funny joke, a barbed remark or a witty expression. We are always under pressure of a question. What will I say? If you take some time to keep silence, you will save more energy and feel relaxed and rested. Besides, silence is creative. More and more, we are required to think outside the box. It means coming up with new ideas. This may be within a business, a school, or any situation in your life. Creativity cannot be found within the known things. Creativity means to bring the new into being. All thinking about is simply chugging with the old. Creativity needs the silence of non-thinking. You have to quiet the chattering mind and there, in silence, you will see new ideas occurring in your mind. Moreover, silence is truth. Words become more and more deceptive. A word of a man is worth nothing. We talk so much that we don't pay attention on what we say. Silence teaches you to weigh every word and your speech becomes more reasonable and truthful. It is really good to have control over speech and not vice versa. Silence shows you who you are. When you are interacting with other people, it is difficult to study yourself as you are being extrovert and focusing on them. If you are alone for an hour or even for half an hour, you can gradually begin to absorb and understand the functioning and patterns of the mind, which leads to self-analysis and contemplation. You become more introvert and aware of your thoughts, desires, emotions and so on. You can keep Mona for a long time or to go away from the city for a couple of days or just to try to keep silence for an hour being at home. It's not keeping your mouth closed that is important. You have to approach silence of your mind. There is no need to restrict yourself to talking if your mind is chattering out loud. Living your life without periods of silence is like playing music without silence between the notes.